What's going on, Scorpio? Sun, Venus, love, and light. We're checking the energy real quick. Hope everyone is doing well. Okay, we have someone, spirit of the stairs. Someone's climbing spiritually. Someone's being um, elevated spiritually, going through an ascension. Okay. Right? Someone's working on getting those windfalls and those blessings from the universe as well. Okay, uh, but to be able to get there, you have to stand in the truth. You have to have some sort of clarity or awareness of what's going on around you. It's not going to be for everyone. Okay, um, this is questioning someone's loyalty. You have to look at who is around you and if they're loyal or not. Friendships, companions, whoever it is. You have spirit of the dog. There's a lot of shit with this moon energy here that you don't know about, about a person. And you may be questioning Um their loyalty here, okay? Um, for some of you, you're working to try and invest in yourself and to have a stable foundation, okay? <clears throat> for some of you, you have someone around you that is ascended and they are a blessing from the universe and that is the awareness or clarity that you need to focus on. This person has been sent to be a loyal companion to you and to help you invest in your future. And someone may not be paying attention. Yep. This person is marriage material here. Okay. Take it how it resonates for you. Yep, you guys are going through lessons right now, and you're in tune, and you're synchronized with the universe, maybe paying attention to numbers and, and stuff of that nature, make sure when you see these numbers from the universe, make sure these angel numbers, look them up on Google, okay, see what the message is that's coming at you at the moment, okay. Right, we have three of swords in reverse. Okay, so this is no more pain, my loves. This is no more. Okay, whatever it is that you've went through, okay, is over with. This three of swords energy in revert in reverse. Right, you're releasing the sorrow or whatever happened to you. You're not arguing no more. Okay, you're releasing the pain. You're recovering from being hurt. All those repressed emotions, you're letting them go. And this is um, someone here. Um, you know, I feel like you're no longer confused, okay, with what you need to do. But you may be suppressing memories if this is about someone that you don't want to think about, okay? I feel like someone wants to have reconciliation, but someone feels like someone crazy as hell, too. Hmm. Okay, maybe this is the clarity someone is getting or it could be on something uh, or someone around you. Give me one more card on that, please. What's this three of swords? Yeah, somebody has a toxic connection. Okay, thank you, Spirit. All right. Spirit is telling me to go with collective number two with this reading. You have someone that's good around you that was sent from the universe to be able to build with you, to have some good shit with you. They are marriage material, but someone is neglecting them. And someone, you know, has healed from what someone's done to them, but they keep running back to that energy of the person that did them wrong, okay? Whether it be for sex or, or, or money or whatever it is, or just because you feel safe with that toxic connection that you have with someone. Someone's running back to the devil, okay? With this Capricorn energy here. Yep, and I feel like it's a sexual addiction that someone has um, for someone here with all these whips and chains and shit this girl has in this damn card here, okay? So someone may still be fucking their karmic here. When they have a good prospect in their face from the universe, okay? So guys, whoever this is, don't don't neglect your blessing, okay? Make sure you pay attention. That's the awareness and the truth and the clarity that you need to see here, all right? I'm sending you guys love and light. Y'all take care.